it's Beckham. What's happening, folks? Greetings, Spotify viewers, because you can view this podcast on video on Spotify. Welcome to the latest Talk United podcast. You may notice I've got a spring in my voice. Um, I did say I would do this podcast when breaking news happens, but it just so happens. They timed it perfectly. The news that I think everyone's been waiting for, everyone's expecting, ding dong, Ten Hag is gone, um, is what I put on Twitter today. And because it's a special occasion and a special podcast, because of the news that's broke this morning. I've got an old friend of mine who is, he's devastated, aren't you, Simon? Welcome, Simon. Hello. You're devastated, aren't you? Hello. I mean, if you're going to try, I challenge you guys to go out into the world right now and find a more anti ten hard, well, not, not anti ten, whatever, a more happy person that tonight has gone than the guy I've got on my podcast today. First off, Simon, ah, how are you doing? An, happy is an understatement. It's like a big black cloud has been lifted. Off my shoulders, it's been there for 18 months. So I thought, why dude, not? Dude, 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 two trophies. Listen, let, right. <laughs> let's get let's get in there right away with this two trophy bollocks. <laughs> right. First of all, fucking... guys, before we get into that, um, first of all, guys, this friend of mine, Simon, we read a big podcast before, but then they shut us down because we're anti discriminatory against Blazers. So he's the former co so we've got a bit of a um, history of doing podcasts. So yeah, go on, Simon. The two trophies being kept trolling out. Right. If we were West Ham or King Newcastle or fucking Villa, what well, better? What well, better than us, by the way? <laughs> they'd be fantastic achievements. But we're Manchester fucking United, and people need to fucking start to remember that because <laughs> under this prick, we have become a mid-table to bottom half of the table side, both in actual football and in the fucking standards that we up, we should be upholding for these players and this fucking football club. We are Manchester United. Those trophies on their own mean absolutely the square root of fuck all. Mm. They are only useful if they are built upon. They have never been built upon. There was no hint no. of them being built upon. So, quite frankly, those two trophies, he can shove them up his ass and waddle back to fucking Netherlands with them, quite frankly. Yeah. Because I'm sick of that fucking excuse being rolled out. They are... It's not like it was the fucking Champions League or a Premier, a Premier League. No, it exactly. If it, 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 it was one of them, it's different, wasn't it? It was arguably the least two um, prominent trophies we could have won. It, they, were the, they, they, were, they were the lowest, yeah, lowest I think... hanging fruit. Yeah. Quite frankly. And even then, the first one, he had a ridiculously favourable draw to get to the final. Yeah. And didn't have to play any decent teams, really. Not even I, Newcastle. I'll try and get his run up um, for that by way of talking. But the second one, correct, he, he, he beat Liverpool, he beat City. Look Fluke it. wins. Fluke wins. Because you're also forgetting why... the, uh, yeah, also forgetting the uh, Comedy City game, they were tour, but tour for being off from going out. Correct. If so I remember correctly, was it, 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 it was close, wasn't it? Well, anyone who's using that as an excuse can get in the fucking bin because that is that is part of the fucking problem that we've seen in this club for the last it's not three the, years. Right season were standards that we all kept getting banded about under a certain other manager that standards weren't being upheld. Well, standards now are not only not being upheld, they're in the fucking shitter, quite frankly, for the yeah. last three, so, three years. So, um, in terms of the League Cup, uh, when he won it, I don't know who the manager was at um, some of these clubs, but we'll go through the teams that he, he, he faced. So he had Villa in the third round in 2022. Under... Would that be Gerard? Uh, it can't be far off. It might have been. It would have been around the time that he either got sacked or. Um, I'm sure it was. Just... I'm sure it was him. Anyway, um, he had Villa at home, one four two. 
Burnley at home won 2-0. Well, it, was, it, was, it was Gerard when it Yeah, because I, I, I knew it was close, but he's a bit of a blur, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't he turn, didn't he turn around to the Stratford end when they were giving him grief? Oh, but yeah, but I, 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 I can't remember if that was a league game or not, you know. Um, anyway, Villa at home, he had a 4 victory. And Tommy scored in that game, by the way. Um, Burnley. Wasn't, they, wasn't that a comeback as well? Weren't we losing? I'm pretty sure we were losing that and we came back to win. And I can find out what was, where's the score? It wasn't like, it wasn't like we were 4 0 up. Um, no, United. Uh, they went. They, they they got the first goal. Then Marshall equalised pretty pretty quick. Then they got ahead again. Then Rashford got one. Then Bruno got one. Then McTominay got one. So like it went to and fro in a bit. That was the only half decent team we played. And we yeah. Won, then, we were losing twice yeah. Because then you got Burnley at Old Trafford. You had Charlton at home, which I went to. Anti scored in that game. I remember scoring in that one. And, and in, actually, even that game, I remember being at it. It was one nil, and you had to bring on some players to finish him off. And didn't, um, didn't Marcus have to bail him out? Yeah, it, no, he didn't. He didn't well, it was one nil because Anti Anti got the oh. Anti got the first goal in twenty first minute. But Marcus scored the second. Which yeah, he got a second and the third to just finish off at the end. But they just couldn't. Yeah, then he beat Nottingham Forest three nil um, away. I was, then I was, I was uh, yeah, and then I went to the home game of that. Yeah, um, and then Fred scored and Red Scott on the phone. And then in the final Newcastle beat him two nil with two goals, goals Casemiro and Rashford. And then you look at the last season, like you said, with the FA Cup run. He, all right, he beat yeah, Liverpool, yeah, Man City, but game. Liverpool game was a crazy match. It was just Liverpool stupid. Game. Liverpool, the Liverpool game in the FA Cup, pretty much summed up, 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 up going Ten Hag. Some United under Ten Hag. It was complete and total chaos yeah. from minute one. And, and you look at yeah, go on. And that's what that's if you look at if you look at United, that's what they do on did under Ten Hag. They yeah. They operated in that chaos because they never, they were never able to control games. Ever. Not for that, not for not for sustained periods at all, really. Um, so maybe like 10, 15 minutes period, maybe they might do it, or well, twenty minutes, or half. Of, so he, he he turned to chaos, which you you're never gonna win, you're never gonna have sustained progress if you're playing in in chaos. No. It's it's never gonna happen. No team has ever done it, and you are never going to do it because. No. You live and die by moments. Sometimes those moments go for you. And sometimes, like we saw on Sunday, Yesterday. those moments don't go for you. Yeah. And then you look at the FA Cup run last season. All right, beat Wigan 2 0. Newport County, he was 2 0 and they threw that away almost. Uh, two, <laughs> get 2 2. Obviously, then, then Anthony built him out in that one. Got the, win, got the, win, got the winner Wait, in that game. Nottingham Forest beat him 1 0. That was a shocking game. I remember that. Uh, Casemiro got a late head in it to win the game I winner. Can't I, I can remember. I, I remember. I remember it's because I think like, oh my god, we're going to lose this. Then it was I a near post. Then he flicked it on. I have white last season from my memory. Um, you know, beat Liverpool four three. Back. Beat you Liverpool four three. Thanks to Diallo, bailed him out. Um, you mean Diallo who never gets fucking yeah that fit. yeah and the guy who put the great ball in the box of the goal part of the goal yesterday. Well, not the main assist, but you know, like the great ball into the far post and then. Oh. Not Coventry 3 0 up in that game, almost binned it off because they can't control again. It's solid Coventry. <laughs> then I'll give him credit for the kind of final city, a little better team, but again, it's a one off game where you, I mean, you, you I, can't I, even I do have it. I have my suspicions, and I've told you this for a while. Yeah, I don't know if he actually came up with those tactics. Yeah, that's a, that, that is a theory because he did, I have, I have did play a false nine, it. didn't he, with Bruno, didn't he? He played a false, yeah, because Ireland didn't start. But yeah. he played a false night. He played Mount, I think Mount played, if I remember. I can find out. I can't remember. Um, but either way, Mount before he didn't play. It was it was completely <laughs> different to what we'd seen in the two years prior. Mount came to off that. the bench. It was it was completely different. Yeah, Mount so came off me, the bench. And I, I also think City. Didn't play that well. Yeah, but that's but to be City, that, that, that has to happen anyway, doesn't it? Regardless. Yeah, but but at anyway, some point, some level, but still, yeah. It's ironic because that die. It was pretty much a year to the day where I pretty much lost faith in Eric Ten Hag because I lost faith, and this is a long while before a lot of you did. Is in it was the cup final. In his first season, the FA Cup final, where we yeah. played City, 
they were on the they'd already got the league title. Mm-hmm. They were on the way to complete the treble. We could have fucking prevented them yeah. winning the treble. Yeah. And prior to the game, everybody, me, you, everybody on social media was all we all saying you can't play Ericsson. You play Ericsson against no. City. Because he'd been dog shit. He'd, I think he'd come back off. It's not even that. It's, he gets that manoeuvre too easily. I, I think he'd come. I, I think he'd come back off an injury as well. Yeah, he's um, just. And, 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 and haven't been the same. Since many people criticise Ericsson. I, I've done it before on social media recently. I've been criticised. I'm not saying he's a shit player. It's just he can't run. He's just fat. It was, it was crystal clear before that game that you can't play Ericsson. No, you, you can't. had to play. You had to play Fred. Yeah. And within thirty seconds, bear in mind this is like I say, this is them. Their second step towards the treble. Now, if I'm a United manager, and if this was Sir Alex on the United uh, as a United manager, or even Oli on the United as a United manager, he would be telling them before you go out. Or Mourinho, to be fair. Get into a mad. As soon as it kicks off, rattle them. Get into a mad. Don't let them settle. Get into yeah. a mad. Rattle them. Even if they're going to win, they're going to win over our dead bodies. You go in there, you rattle them. You you put some. Bowls in you, you get you shit them up, whatever. Yeah, you, you put you you. you... Well, Fergie did it and against yeah. Arsenal. How many times against Arsenal did he, did he play yeah. Darren Fletcher? That's, that's Why? What you do. It's a one Why? Game, it's a one. It's a one game. So you go out there. You you have them foaming at the mouth to to go out there and prevent City doing what we did. You know what I mean? It was yeah. our thing, the treble. So you anybody who has that's any cheap, sort of connection to United, which clearly Ten Hag didn't. But if you yeah. have any connection to United, you'd be saying, right, this is our thing. We're the treble winners. Do not let them do it. Do not let them do it. Do anything you can to not let them do it. 30 seconds in, we're 1-0 down. Yeah. I mean, that, that day for me, guys, um, in case you don't even, know. And we didn't good... even threaten after that to even try and get... Yeah, we got a penalty. Like, we, got, we got a penalty, didn't we, I think, in that game? Oh, yeah. oh, God, I can't remember that. Yeah, but, um, we got one, yeah. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Fucking city, good side or whatever. I'm not not disputing. Oh that. no, they, no. It's... But as we saw last season in the FA Cup final, you can beat that them. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter in a one-off game. No, you can beat the can beat. So that to me, that day was the day. I I mean, it, leading up to that, as we've discussed from after the after the Carabao Cup final in that first season, which the warning seems, signs. Everybody seems to think that that first season was good. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't. We had a two-month period yeah, directly it was... after the World Cup. Directly after the World Cup. Did before, wasn't it, as well, wasn't it, a bit? We had a couple of good start to that. I think it started, it, well, it was, it was I think it started just before, because I remember Ganache getting a winner against Fulham right before it, it. It was when Ronaldo left, essentially. Essentially, um, yeah. But, but it was mainly after the, after the yeah, World Cup. Yeah, I think it started just before they carried on after the World Cup, yeah. That was like mid-December to the end of February. In that period, we 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 played we beat Barcelona at home and and um, and beat the won the uh, Carabao Cup and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I've got, the, I've got it on here in twenty twenty three. No, was it no? What, but, that one. It but after that Carabao Cup final, there there was a dramatic drop off in in performances. Maybe not in terms of results I'm because now. we were still grinding out results, but. In terms of performance, it absolutely nosedived after that um, Carabao yeah. Cup. And then Looking last at... season, those results caught up to the performances. Yeah, they did. Which, which inevitably does. Yeah. Results always catch up. The, um, you look at the, so, the yeah. You look at the so. games. Um, well, actually, the Carabao Cup final. Uh, when was the Carabao Cup final? What, 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 what date was the Carabao Cup final? It was like end of, end of February. Yeah, 26th of February. So I'm looking at the fixtures now. 26th of February was basically, yeah, after that, we got punked by um, Liverpool. Mm. That scoreline of something with the... Know, then, then after that, it was like, we, we, we beat Brentford, Everton, Forest, yeah, Villa. But, but, we weren't like convincing. Said, even, you know, no, and even throughout that season, even in that two-month spell, we the only person that consistently scored for Manchester United that season was Marcus Rashford. Yeah. If we if he didn't score, United didn't win games. And that, again, this myth that, that we've only just started not being able to score goals under Eric, under Eric Ten Hag, that's been throughout his career at Manchester United. Yeah, he, he got 30 goals that year, did Rashford. 
we have always struggled to score goals. Little, it was a little bit different in that first season because in the first season, we, we, I seem to remember us creating chances, but we didn't have a centre forward. That's when no, we didn't. No, we in. had we had Rush was, playing there. Marshall couldn't stay fit, which is unfortunate. And, and Ronaldo, who was wrong side of thirty, we missed chances. But from but after that, we didn't even create. Last season, we were one of the worst teams in the league, probably what one of the worst in Europe at creating chances. We barely yeah. created chances last season. And you can blame injuries, because I'm sure we'll get into these this again. Yeah. Uh, because the, this is another one of his excuses that mm-hmm. he's that he's persisted with. Yeah. Um but that doesn't prevent us prevent you creating chances. You should be able to create chances regardless yeah. of who's playing. Yeah. Um and that's the, yeah, and then and this year it's we we talk. I mean, someone broke it down really well. He's he's put Rashford had a poor season, right? He's not the only one to be fair. But this year he looked. He had a great run of form, and what's he done? Stuck him on the right hand side. He's nullified it. Yeah, and he's lost. He's and this lost. is going to sound like Chris is in Garnacho. I'm not Chris is in Garnacho. He is. I'm watching like he's like I'm not comparing to Ronaldo, but he's a raw talent. He hasn't got. He's not. He's not a natural finisher. He might learn to be a good finisher, but he's not natural at it. And he's, he's enough, twatting yeah. it. He's twatting them from thirty four. I'm like, dude, switch him round. Rashford scored one of those two chances yesterday. Can't just shouldn't be playing. Shouldn't no, be starting. And that's another debate as well. Yeah, shouldn't be starting. I've said it for. I've said it for twelve months near enough. And I've, in fact, I made a. I seem to remember putting out a tweet. Uh, at the start of last season, and it was three things that Tanag needed to do last season. I, I can't be bothered bringing it up on the thing because I don't know where I'll find it. Um, but <laughs> he's lost in the sea of like, get this fucker out, them, tweets. One of them was, uh, was it before, was it before Ornana signed for us? I can't remember. I can't remember. But I, I'm, I think one of them, he's got, was, he's got, he's got to get, I think I know where you're going with this. One of them was to beat. Um, improve our away record against the big six. Well, the big teams. He hasn't done that. He's not done that. I've been a very, very big team yet with him on this season. No, we've, no. we've not beat a big team away at all. No. Under Eric Tenag. No. I'm saying that's years, happening with In three years, he has never beaten a top six side away from home. Never. He's got never. draws the best in it, but not me. Them either. I think he's only got two or three draws. His away think. record against the big teams is absolutely fucking atrocious. Atrocious. I'm trying to think what was up. Absolutely about. atrocious. The, and this is why, this is why, for for the last three months, I have not seen any reason at all. There's no metrics, none whatsoever, none that none, paint none. it. Paint it in a good light that that he should have been Manchester United manager. None, no. none. The only metrics is the two trophies, which in isolation, as we've already established, mean the square root of nothing mm. for Manchester United. If anything, they're a hindrance because I think they, I think they gloss over a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you'd put me in charge of Manchester United oh, well, against. <laughs> okay. And then it, it, if you give me twenty games against Man City, I might fluke a win once. Mm. If, with, with, with the players that you got, because the players build him out. Oh, the more often than not. Um, Certainly the last three and games, the last you know, 18. and we'll get into what happened in the summer now because it's now it's all starting to come out now. The things that uh, you know, because these things get it annoys me. Because why didn't this come out before? Yeah, I mean, so. Uh, if you do believe, okay, guys, I, I don't, guy, no, yeah, yeah, we, 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 this theory is. So, if you leave with Muppeteers, which are good, pretty good for in your stuff, basically, they often drop the three people in the summer, right? And I'm pretty five. sure I know who they were. Five, apparently. Five, okay. Well, three of them, I, I'm guessing one of them is Tuchel. I'm guessing one of them would have been uh, Zerbe. Oh, um, Zerbe yeah. well, and the third yeah. one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not okay, no, no, no. The three, the three that Muppets mentioned was um, Nagelsman. Yeah, no, that was it. Nagelsman. That uh, was it. Yeah, Nagelsman, he... Nagelsman, Alonso, and Honus. Yeah, I, I reckon they were two were uh, Tuchel and 
Who else? Because yeah, I know we, we know, yeah, and Deserbe. Yeah, they're probably the five then, right? They're probably the five. Yeah. Frank Golding at Deserbe. Um, with the release well, signing. Yeah. Um, you seen that team by the way, guys? Must say, look at that team and just tell me you know there's a problem with that team. Um, allegedly, 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 allegedly. So, yeah. um, so they look at the manager in the summer, right? And you know, all right, you can have, you can just I, the view didn't make any sense, but whatever. It was all so you can't do that. Basically, interview managers, offer them the jobs, and then go mm-hmm. back and go, yeah, guy, you stay in. Because that means the players will, will find out. Well, it's, it's undermining them. Yeah. And, it, and even, I, don't, I don't care what you think about a manager or a person. Like that it. is a, sh- it's a shitty situation yeah. to be in. It's not fair even, on Ten Hag, that. Even it's if not. I liked Even if I liked him, which... You That's don't. A, but imagine, away. imagine you are starting a, in, a, a, as a manager, and you know your club wanted you out. You, you know, I, I said in my this podcast before. I said even if it's, a, let's say you, you flip it round, right? Uh, mm. the, the West Ham game, and United were dominated at half time. They were absolutely being trundled. It's no nil, and he knows. Okay, I know exactly how to fix this at half time. Formation change, position change. He I walks mean, in I mean, there, tries to do it, and the players go, "Fuck you." I mean. I'll, I'll be honest, I think we should look at the, the West Ham game in isolation after we finish this little bit because yeah, I think because, I, I think that's all right, any, all right, any game, any game where he knows he knows what he is, I know 100% I think, guaranteed this will fix it. The players will believe think, in it. I think it sums up a lot of the issues that we had on the tag. But uh, so it'd be good to actually look at that and just assess that because I think it, it, it'll tell a picture that it's in, in of itself. Yeah. But as far back as the summer, yeah, I agree. Um, it it's not fair on him. I just do that. Even if I liked him, which yeah. I don't, uh, it it totally undermines him. And to be honest, as I've said privately to you guys, you and Joy, um, who's our other chap who used to be on the podcast, um, we think we think he's real. But we know, we know, there's no evidence if, to say he is. <laughs> if he had any ball, any manager, not just him, that had any sort of Self-respect, introspectively, or or, or uh, just morals, just you know, if, if they had any sort oh, of humility, it, yeah. any humility, any any sort of um, any sort of willingness to think that right, this is wrong, sort of thing, they would have they would have walked because it was clear. It, it's clear to us, Ten Hag's he might be a not a nice person. That's me putting it very, very, uh, very, very sheepishly. Um, but he's not thick. No, he's not. He's, not a, he's not a thick person. He, he will. He will have known no. what was going on. Yeah. So it's obvious. So surely even he knew from that point that it was going to be. He was being undermined and uh, undermined, and probably this was going to be the 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 outcome. And then it became almost a game of chicken, almost. Which, which happens first? Yeah, it, well, it was like kind of who's going to blink first? Is it going to be me or is it going to be them? Is it? And, and oh, season go, or, or, or what season end before it all happened? Yeah, I mean, th- then we get onto the contract situation. Then, which it was I don't it, know. they triggered the option. Well, no, they? no, they, they want they wanted to give him a brand new contract. Yeah. They wanted to set the terms. Certain, with certain things in it, which was to reduce his um, his veto, his transfer veto, move it completely, uh, and, the phrase. and to add in these break clauses that they could get out whenever they wanted and not have to pay as much. Yeah, um, and he wasn't he, he his his side wasn't willing to do that. Yeah, because he knows that because go on. Yeah, which I think tells you the story quite. Yeah, frankly. also. He had, he had him over a barrel then because they knew what we're going to, what, where we're going. Exactly. So exactly. can't blame him for that. That's fair enough. From their point of view, exactly. or, or from our yeah. point of view, we don't agree with that. But from his point mm-hmm. of view, well, you screw me over. I'm taking. I'm you know. I'm I've got the power here now, or more power. Yeah, but which, it's just a, it's just Ineos have made a, a bit of a well, they've made a pig's ear of it, quite frankly. Yeah. Um, which is a shame, but. It at least it seems like no, yeah, we've wasted two months, but, but they've made the not, decision. At least we're not going to be wasting the whole season another four months, five months whilst yeah. we, whilst he bloody plays it out. Um, yeah. So at least there's that, but yeah, because <laughs> yeah. um, 
the thing people obviously the last national break everyone was going on about that meeting and um what's basically from we understand from people that would would know um it, not, not not sources that we have if people you can eat with tears and you can all get information is basically Radcliffe wanted the wanted him out day one and that's that's pretty much that was, that was, common that knowledge was, yeah that was that was that was always the yeah. initial what he's doing here what he did that. yeah what he did was he said, I think he, he offered it to Thomas Tuchel he said no but then I think I don't know who else offered it, who, who to uh, offered it I don't know who did that but I think what he was saying was I don't feel comfortable confident in my own ability to do well no what's happened then is the meeting he basically said look I think he's I think he's trash get him out however I employed you guys to do it you to, mm. you you go and do it. And oh, what then? What okay. then happened was he then told them that it's why I have, why I think something so quick. Partly is he yeah, said if I you mean, de- if you decide it's time to go and you got to, or you and you can do it, just do it. Obviously inform yeah, him. Obviously I, you got to inform I mean, him. I'll be I'll be honest. I've made my feelings clear on on the fact that I, I'm absolutely bewildered as to why they didn't do it then. Suss out, suss out this sort of yeah. contingency plan. I mean, if you're going to give him the extension, whatever, they, they, they tried to give get, get somebody else in. They offered it to, at least as far as I know, three managers. They actually effectively offered the job to three managers and three yeah. managers turned them down. So, um, so it's not like they turned back to him and said, he's our guy, because no. they never once said that. No. Um, but what baffles my head is these are supposedly football experts. And the sheer fact that they didn't immediately after giving him this extension, or at least deciding that he's going to be here for another year or two, whatever, uh, why, how they didn't at that point begin to come up with a contingency plan in case this very thing actually happened? Because the statistics will show you this it was go. It was coming by far, by far the most likely likely outcome because yeah, the 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 <laughs> the chances of it being turning around a complete one eighty is next to none when you look at the statistics because it wasn't like there was one area or one thing that wasn't working last season. It was across the board. When yeah. you are not scoring and conceding, you're going to lose games. Shocker, right? So yeah, so so it's not like one of those. It's not like a quick fix. It's a it's a systemic problem, and and it was always going to end like this. Yeah, always. Not so when the the, the 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 sheer fact that they took three months to do what they should have done, literally on the plane ride back from Ibiza, give, talking to Eric Ten Hag, is mind blowing to me. So yeah. So, so I, I can understand why uh, Ratcliffe had had, uh, had had words with them because yeah, I think the 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 the, the thing was it, the the way I hearing it is, and I I've got I will say this guy I've got somebody who is was on Twitter before, but left because he got a little abuse for a certain saga that he was, he actually bang on with, and he basically said what what Peters said. He basically said worst effect of he doesn't want to be the guy to make the actual you know overall the football guys because that's what. I've, Got United and missing the first bit of the Glazers, but he knew he could see where he, he, he said, he, he says, I'm, I'm not blind, I can see what's going on with the football pitch. But yeah, what he did was essentially, he his their boss has told them essentially, Look, I want him out, but you make the decision, the pressure's on mm. them then. And then they all said, If you decide that, yeah, we can't have this anymore, it's not going to work, you can just do it. You don't have to like, these emergency meetings and this theater of like get them in the room and get this you know close the doors and white smuggles in the air and all this crap um they just do it and i the, the question we have now is are they doing it now because they're sick of it or because they know or, or or after that meeting did they work out who they want and they can get him now and that's a question we need to find out and i will, I will find out other guys will find that out and that's where i think um we need to we we need to wait and see what happens but rude in rude's Got the job for now. Obviously, you know we'll probably beat. But, I, but I, I, I still wonder whether they actually, if they really believed in Rude as the guy to take over from him, at least even even as an interim, surely that would have been done three weeks ago. Yeah, I think I, I just get the feeling. So, so I just me, get the feeling that they don't want me, to go. I think, that I think in, they want in, a, 
Yeah, I think Rude's only going to be in uh, at least as manager uh, for not very long. Yeah, I think either I think they didn't. I think they want to go from one manager to a point where I'm thinking. But I think I, I'm men men we should we should think in here. I think they know who they want ideally, and they know they can get him, and and they're now just and and they've and they're now going to work well, on it. And we'll... I think it might just. I think that they are. I think the guy. Uh, I think. I think. I think it's just got to a point where they've thought, right. It, 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 it can't cost? get any worse under this manager. Well, how much is it going to cost? So, so they basically, I don't think they were willing to spend the money three weeks ago to bring to bring a new. Yeah, but now they are. Um, but I think now it's got to the point where they've basically been left without a choice. Yeah, quite frankly. And um, people obviously, yeah. people are concerned about Vanistro. You got to bear in mind, it, he is Vanistro can sit there and. Boom his face and yell at the manager, do a sort of work. If tell them what to do it, he won't do it. So yeah, I mean, I, I, that's I, the only I, thing I, I, I'm thinking about is maybe that you know. I, I do have my. Oh yeah, gosh, you uh, will. I, I, I am hesitant to but say that. In the day, in the day, the coach is going to do what the manager instructions to do. There's no way that. Oh, yeah, I hope yeah. to God not. Anyway, the, the coach is going fuck him and doing, I'm doing things my own way. So yeah, I, 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 agree. I agree. So it's a bit. But so there's a hesitation, but at the same time, I don't want to comment. In a bit of the team. Until I've until I've seen a game or two under him. Yeah. I don't. Want to, but it wouldn't and surprise me. It would. It's he, also very interesting that um in like the was it the Spurs game was it? Rue did oh, not get on the Rue did not yeah. get on the touchline. Right. Yeah. He's been on. He's been on it since. Yeah. We haven't lost a game. We haven't lost a game since. Well, only well, yesterday. But he, that, that game, they were absolutely dominant. He wasn't pitched on the touchline. Well, I'd be really into I that mean, thinking. Like, is that him saying that like, I'm not getting touched with this crap? Maybe. Have we, only maybe... Got, have we only got two games before the international break? No, I think we've got it? more than that. I think we've got. Right. Um, if it's more than you think, because I have a look. Uh, who we've got? I know we've got. I know who we've got. Uh, okay, we've got win, winning them all now. I don't know. I don't know who they've got. I, I'm sorry, I know who they've got, but I don't know how they fall. Leicester at home in the cup Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea Wednesday. at home in the league on I Sunday. All, I know they're all at home, but again, I don't yeah. know which side. Yeah, PA okay, PAOK in the Europa League on, after Chelsea. Yeah. And the final game is oh, so Leicester today, again today. on Sunday at two o'clock against today. Leicester in the league. Well, and you, then you... it's Ipswich on 24th. Yeah. Kind of, which is kind of funny. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if those four games are all that Van Nistelrooy takes control. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a big surprise. Yeah. And, and then they make a decision, and uh, or at least they agree everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, the international break. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise you because then because then also it also gives them a bit of time to take stock of if they if the guy they want is not gettable, they've got. Yeah. We've got to think, well, I know it's only four games, but it's like, well, we can have a look and, you know, do we well, really want to push it, out for somebody also, else next on the list? You know, I mean, it, gives them... it, it also gives the, the team that they're coming from a chance for them to. Yeah, I think that's the thing you've got to bear in mind as well. Yeah. Which I, think, I think he's only fair. When we'll, get, getting... we'll, we'll get to who we think it is in a minute, guys. We've got a feel who we think it might be. Um, who we get. Um, but yeah, so um, before we get. Well, I, yeah, I, like I, said, I, th- I think it'd be useful to talk about yesterday's game. Yeah, so uh, I managed to get a stream of it. Luckily, though, so I say luckily. Um, it was like it was like. I mean, I, 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 honestly, I could honestly, I could have. I I, I was tempted yesterday, Simon, not to try and find a stream, see the score, and then say this this did this happen in the game to you guys, and see if I was if my prediction would have been right because it's been the same for fucking three months. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, where do you start with that? I mean, I mean, how did Lord miss that? I have no fucking clue. Why is it right wing? I have no fucking clue. Why they can't? Why well, it, again? Again, as I was saying before, why Agata didn't start this great performance in the midweek? Well, not great performance. No, well, performance well, in the yeah, I mean that. Th- those are both issues. I think that paint that that are an overarching sort of problem since uh, well under ten I've since he came in really. Yeah. Because I said as I, we'll start with the. Why is Dallow right back and all that sort of stuff? Right wing. Yeah, sorry, why is, why is, why is Dallow... Hey, if he's right, right back, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying, you know you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why we, we, was yeah. the one that was getting on the end of these chances? Now, as I said before, under Ten Hag, we operate in chaos. Yeah. And that's what that first half was. 
that's what that first half was against the. Let's be. Let's make no bones about it. A dog shit West Ham side. Yeah. We've played some bad sides this season. Southampton, Palace, both ter- Barnsley, but all terrible. But West Ham were truly woeful in that first half, considering the circumstances. Um, but yeah, it did create a lot of chances. But they were all through chaos. The amount of times we hoofed it long into space, honestly, I lost count. And yeah. If people, well, to, if people want to try and tell me that that is good football, I'm, I'll slap them in the face because it is not good football at all. That's, as I say, that's route one. Yeah. You might as well have fucking Sam Allardyce as manager. <laughs> hey, he got born into Europe. And, 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 I mean, he's only rent corner. I could go and ask him. But, um, also, he's, he won every game in England, you, as well. He, 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 yeah. When he was there, everyone, he won't even record. I think, record. Yeah, I've seen him in shops before when they're around me. But, uh, but yeah, so <laughs> what I'm saying is, it, 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 again, it's not sustainable. Nothing Ten Hag has ever done for Manchester United has been sustainable. Nothing. Other than his ego. Well, yeah, but that's not for United, is it? That's for him. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but it was it was it, it was in United. But and, and not even the trophies weren't sustainable. No, clearly, clearly. Because he won so, one final, lost the other one in one season. So, so it's, it's, nothing he's ever done is sustainable. And that first half summed summed it up, quite frankly, because there was no. It wasn't like we were creating goals through a systemic approach. It wasn't like you see how City create goals where it's ping, 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 pull back goal. You can pretty much say what a City goal is going to be like nine times out of ten. Yeah, usually um, hard on the end of it. <laughs> but United just have never had that on the Ten Hag. And it's, oh, and well, United, it's going to be a worldie from somebody. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's More unlikely. Completely. Or well, maybe a set piece, maybe. Completely and utterly relying on individuals to, to, to do it. So then... I saw a goal United I thought was well crafted the only record thing I'm not even sure if I can credit is the, is the main goal against City that was a counter attack though but it's still like yeah. pitching the play and yeah. working it through that was a, that was a good one yeah. but again that was is that any different to what we saw under Ollie? no no so this is what I'm saying so yeah. this, this, this dials back six years to under Ollie. now obviously people, anyone who's listened to the podcast before knows Ollie's my favourite subject but <laughs> what I'm saying is, we were changing from Oli because sure. that clearly wasn't the fucking mythological football that we that that we all want to pull ourselves off over. So why then is he getting a free ride by playing the same sort of thing mm-hmm. and not even doing it to the same level, really? But it's 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 no better, and I'd argue it's even worse. Than the football we played under Ollie. Mm. So anyway, but that that's 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 the gate. That's that's why we ended up playing with bloody Dallow as a ra- as a centre forward. And that's why it came in the <laughs> and Rashford as our only oh our only forward who's ever scored more than ten goals in a season in the league. The only one we got ended up playing right back. I mean that in itself. You want to talk about why we're not scoring goals. Yeah. And he can blame luck. He can blame all the rest of it. Yesterday, I think Garnacho had seven shots on goal. Yeah. Rashford and Hoyland combined had two. Yeah. Which that tells you, that tells you there. That tells you right there. He, he the whole thing with Tenag was to get the best out of, the, out of his boys. Yeah. And he, do, he, get, and he couldn't do that with Anthony. It wasn't to get the best out of the team. It wasn't the best to get the the best out of the best players for the team. Yeah. It was to get the best out of the, out of, for his boys. Yeah. Because how many times did we see, did we see under, under Tenag, Bruno shunted to the right. Yeah. Or Bruno shunted deep. Mm-hmm. Or Rashford shunted to the right. Or Rashford shunted to the centre forward. And as you said before, you had Marcus who copped an enormous amount of flack last season. 
enormous. I think wasn't he the most? Wasn't he the 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 sportsman with the most amount of abuse on social media or something like that? I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me. I'm sure. I'm sure he was either number one or number two. Um, and then this season, he actually starts getting into a bit of form. Then what does he do? He gets dropped. Yeah. And then since then. He struggled to get back that form. It's atrocious, man, management. Yeah. Um, and then, I, f- I forgot what we were to- talking about then. Um, just, we, we talked about the, we talked about the, 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 start, the, the. It's just the man management and just the, the tactics oh, of where people are playing. And for example, bit... for example, right, he, 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 he takes off Rashford at half time against Porto, right? For not tracking back. Fair enough. I don't agree with yeah. it, but fair enough. Gnacho didn't do it. He's still playing. Yesterday, if, if Marcus had done what Garnacho did defensively yesterday, oh, yeah. there would have been death threats to him. Yeah. Because because Garnacho was awful at tracking back yesterday. Yeah. Awful. And look, I'm not. And that's I, don't not problem, him off. I don't have problem. I don't have a problem with like taking a play with tracking back. But if you're going to do it for one, do it for all of them. What well, happens I'm then? Not, do... I've not got a problem with your wingers not tracking. No, back. I don't. Wait, do you going to take one I, off for not doing it? Then take other one off for not I doing think, it. If, if you if you don't have your wingers tracking back, that's when you can go direct, because at least it's pinning their them fullbacks up there. back. Yeah, it's pinning their fullbacks back. Yeah, which that's 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 how you do it. That's how you counter attack. That's how you play direct. That's how you play through the lines. Yeah, but uh, it's just, and then we get into the second half where they do change it. West Ham. And he can't he, he can't adapt. And that again, he, how many times? Have we said it? I well, I, said... I put a tweet out and I'll I'll quote it here. Uh I put it out yesterday. I I was I I said where is it? Uh, at time of, what time did I tweet this? At three oh six, which is basically the second half starting. I thought so the team we're facing have made a tactical change. We know what we know what that usually means. And yeah, I was proven because... right. <laughs> it, it's, it happens so often yeah. pretty much every game almost. Yeah. Under ten hard. Where there's been in-game decisions, either by us or by the opposition, and they either haven't come off or he hasn't reacted yeah. in enough time. Yeah, it happens game after game. I've never seen a manager have worse impact on a game in-game. Never. No. Never. I mean, even this season alone, we're only nine games into the Premier League season. He took Bruno off at Brighton. With that was a weird one. And we lost. Literally lost without him on the pitch. Yeah. And, and we've seen, uh, yesterday didn't react well enough. So many times it's mm-hmm. happened. Got the win- happened. Even when, he, when he's got heading games and like... Oh! Really, like, heading games. Yeah. The, the one that really pissed me off, well, a lot of them, was Brentford away. Dominated. Shite. Get the goal ahead of it. Okay, you flew to win here. He can't even organise and to stay to stay and get the one no win and get an undeserved win. They fall apart and do and to equalise. The thing is, we shouldn't be clinging on. No, they, shouldn't be, shouldn't be anyway. But how many times we've had lead this lead this season, especially in Europe, and just can't hold on to them? This is again comes down to the standards. Yeah. United Chaos ball. should not, United should not ever be happy with a draw in front of that chain. It shouldn't be. It, that, that's not. That's not United. No. And right, even if, even if you were to be super generous to Ten Hag and say that he's not an atrocious manager, mm-hmm. he's nowhere near a fit for Manchester United. No. He's, a, he's, as fa- he's as far he's proven, away he's from a that. Manchester United manager as I could possibly imagine. Yeah, a Manchester United manager being there's no charisma, nope. there's no character, there's no communication, there's no motivation, there's no man management. Oh, well, it is with bad, it is man management, with bad man management. It, he throws youth players under the bus. Other players. That's not, that's Other not players United are, manager. Other players, players when they don't need Manu, he, he's destroying, he was destroying Manu. Oh, run him into the Garnacho. He's played hundred games. Yep. I don't think is he twenty yet. I think he, I think he's just turned twenty recently. That's madness. Could be wrong. I'll have a look. That is utter madness. 
And I know football's not like it was. He turned 20 was... in July. Right. But I know football's oh, yeah. not like it was when I was a kid. and, and They're fitter than they were, players, yeah. And players didn't really feature that regularly in the first team until they're in the early 20s and stuff like that. That's kind of what I grew up with. And I know players get thrust in um, a lot earlier these days. Mm -hmm. But Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a limit. The amount of football that them two kids have played. I mean, and the um, one, is... and the one that made, and, the, and he even did it with a guy who's notoriously bad for injuries. Luke, I'm like, do not do it with him, because oh, for a reason, I, 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 the looting game was I, stupid. How many times have I told you that he doesn't care about players' welfare? I don't think I, I think he's I think you're right. I think it's also like he's I don't care, I'll keep my job. That's what he's more focused See, yeah, on. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. He's saving his own skin. Yeah, that's why that's the football's it. like it is, because he's not sticking to a style It's like I yeah. want to get a result here and keep my job and it, it, it's yeah. not gonna work out. So yeah, I, agree. I agree. Yeah. In Again, terms it's of all, it's all been to save himself rather than actually yeah. doing what's right for Manchester United. So we're gonna we're gonna move on quickly to and kind of round this off a little bit and towards the end of two things. To one question. Um of all the signings that he made, or the club made, or both, made, whatever we want to phrase it, guys, listen to this. How many and which ones was it, would you say have been? I'm not saying successful, but it's hard to say so. But been like, okay, that's been okay signing. I can well, think of it's, one. It's too early uh, for for a few of them. Obviously I think a, yeah. I, I, overall, I think. Do you, do you want me to include this? I'm not going to include this. No, no, no. Don't include this season. No, no. The ones this, summer, this summer, we don't know who's... who's I'd say Wood, Martinez. Um, I don't think Martinez has been that good. I, I think his first season was good. I think last year, Angel, and this year, it's a shit show anyway. I, I, I'd like to see more before I'd say he's, he's a success. Oh, yeah, but uh, I, think, I, I think he's been terrible. The rest of them have been like average, bang average. I'd say, I'd say who's improved a lot is Onana. Yeah, Onana has been very good this season, yeah. Onana's, Onana's, Onana's uh, he's bailed us out. And, and to be fair, <laughs> ironically enough, considering how shit Ten Hag's communication and the, some of the stuff he comes out with after games, well, Nana was pretty. Actually, oh, oh, Nana yeah. actually seems like he's got his head fairly screwed on. Yeah, and, he's, and I think I think you've got to bear in mind, guys, that and that's bailed him out a lot this season. So not yeah. just, not, not just getting results, but worse score a lines. Lot. A lot. You know, so, I mean, he almost said, he almost said penalty I mean, yesterday. To be fair, there's always a uh, always a mistake in him. Oh but yeah, I but I think that's part, I, I, that's part of modern goalkeepers now. They've, they've yeah, got that potential mistake in the man because where they play. Yeah, I agree. I think it's the case with most goalkeepers. Yeah, when so, they, the, the way he's playing, it's it, it, right. I mean, how many times you see like but, Edison and Asmund, yeah, they, they, they don't get caught is, out because they're so dominant. But, but the difference is, those teams are usually either capable or they already are a couple of goals ahead. Yeah. So oh, the they, team's they get, so deep they, against and there's no real threat for to capitalise on it. So they've got the ability that it isn't yeah. really that much. Of an issue. So you think us, none? So you don't think any really? No, I'd like I say I'd, I'd say Onana. Onana, oh, no, no. okay, Onana. fair enough. I think, I think I think if we're talking about this summer, if we're including this summer, I'd say Mazarawi. Yeah, he's been solid right. since he came. He's got an injury, uh, injury now. But but again, he, he but he was injury prone before we even signed him. Yeah, he didn't and play that many games. What he I will say, what I will say. About new signings and players, I am so happy that he's not here for Yoro and that young striker. Correct. Because I think if if you can get a good coach with that with Yoro and that with that kid, I mean, I know he's only eighteen, but oh my god, if he's anything like he could be, and that's impressive so far. You know, this I'm not saying maybe like the next best thing, but there's the, the, the promising signs with that youth team. Well, again, it, it, again, another another thing that's been overarching under under Ten Hag has been. How many plays has he actually improved? Yeah, maybe None? maybe one, maybe one. Dallo, but how much has? But, yeah, but Dallo, Dallo's like Dallo has his pillow patch He's insane. Yeah, next minute, like he does a clanger anyway. He's been like for his whole career at United. And not only that, I wonder how much has his improvement been at the hindrance of other players. Yeah, like I said, now you've got for some reason you've got him bombarding forward like some fucking Superman. Trying mm. to get an end of crosses, uh, end of long balls. Yeah. And you've got Marcus, who's the only centre forward who can score, well, only attacker, <laughs> who can score more than 10 goals in a league season. And he's having cover for him. It's, it, it's hilarious. So <laughs> we'll, we'll end it now on the big question, Simon, which everyone's asking. 
Actually, two questions actually when this when this end this, end this podcast. And obviously, guys, if any else comes out, I'll do the podcast to announce when they announce with managers wherever they decide to do that when they find it. Two questions. One question went in two parts. Who do you want as manager, and who do you think we'll get as manager? If you were to put your money on it now, who, who do you who think? Do, the, who, do you think who do you think it's going to be? I'll answer the first one. Go on. Who do I want? I know who I you think, want. I think you already know. Yeah, he wants just me here back, guys. No, 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 no. Oh, you want um, you want um, you want to have um, Gerard? Is it? No. There's a Norwegian king that deserves his chance. Arn's a player, not a manager, bro. So I can fucking shut the fucking dicks up on Twitter. Who used the fucking uh, trophy? You guys, if Oli came, if Ollie came back, I was just asking you, you know who it was. He may literally lose his mind. It, no, not only if Oli came back, if Oli came back and won a trophy, a trophy that I would, I, yeah. I, I would go on the mother of all benders. So you want you want Oli? Who do you think? I, well, yeah, but that's if I'm being realistic. Uh, you might get him as an in- you might oh no you won't no you won't he doesn't seem to be the, the no in the, in the mind of Ineos as far no. as long term at least anyway. it's not um, so, being ruled out but it's not it's not high on the list so if I'm looking at long term as a couple uh, Hunes would be one of them mm-hmm. um, Amarim yeah I think would be I think would be the um, Would be uh, the, the 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 probably the name. Um, uh, I mean, to be honest, and uh, there's there's to, I'll be honest. People say there's not standout candidates, right? This is the this is the argument that I've had to listen to for the last four months. Yeah, I'd hazard a guess that there's at least four candidates that I think that are maybe some are more obtainable than others, but I think all four of them. Would do, it would get me more excited about Manchester United than I have been under Ten Hag at any point. And that's uh, Amarim, yep. Hunes, yep. Nagelsmann, mm-hmm. and Frank. Yeah, well, Frank, um, Frank, I think Frank's the most stable of those. I don't think, I think he's the least sexy name out yeah. of those, well, which it, I know it, piss a lot it, of people it, off. I think, I think, I think that, makes, that makes sense. What you, we've gone for the Hollywood approach before. You know, and well, I just want to say right now, um, I was talking, guys, breaking news. It's not really breaking news. Because guy, it's Simon Castle on this guy. Jamie Jackson has said that Thomas Frank is the early favourite to get to replace him. Well, so my, my well, answer to that question is, who do I want? I'd want armor him. That's why I like, I, I, like, I like what I'm seeing. But I think it'd be Thomas Frank. Well, again, you, 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 I didn't get to finish and say my second part, but I agree. I think it will be Thomas yeah. Frank. As we've discussed in, in private, yeah. I think... I think Amarim and Frank are probably number one and number two yeah. within Ineos's within sort of inner circle um, as far as long term. Yeah. And I think, and I think, like you've mentioned before, I, I I do wonder whether it's got to a point now where they've just thought we need to pull the trigger. Yeah, but I think if they go for if they give, if they go for Thomas Frank, it's not a man that's just they've decided like they, they, they liked him before. They, 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 well, a lot of people. Tell they, 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 the noise is that a lot of people like him. They really mind what he's been doing before. He, 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 he ticks a lot of boxes of what, the, what he does. Frank, his approach with uh, stats, I think, uh, and sports science and all the rest of it. Fits in uh, with their model. Brentford think, fits in with the marginal yeah. gains bollocks that they've come up with. And also, uh, if you're looking at comparing managers, he's been in the Premier League, he knows what it's about as well. So that's also a plus in yeah. his favour a little but bit as well. Again, the, but then again, on the flip side, he's never won anything. No. Um, so those are the those are the flip sides. Whether you get in is going to be a risk. At this yeah, there's no, point. there's no, there's no, there's no. Even if you bring in, obviously no going to get. There's all the risks. There always, risks. even if you get Pep Guardiola or, or, or Copley that came in with us, they welcome obviously. But there's no guarantee. There's, there's no hundred percent managed guarantee. We brought in, we brought in Jose, Jose Mourinho, who was a notorious winner everywhere. Yeah. He was a risk, or ended up being a risk. Yeah. So they're all they all end up being a risk. Yeah. So you've got to look at what you've got to kind of almost you've got to do risk assessment to see how big the risks yeah. are, of course. But you've also then got to look at how do they what boxes do they tick for what we want moving forward. And I think Amarim and as I've said, Amarim and, and Frank are the number one and number two, in my opinion, for any Yeah, I think I think I think that's fair. 
And I think I think Frank's more attainable at this point. So I think that might give him the edge. And it wouldn't surprise me if that's the guy they, they turn to for long term. Um, so, yeah, it, but... Like There's, I said, there, I mean, there is no sure yeah. thing. No, we've got to we've got to remind ourselves of that. Um, yeah. So it's, but what I will say is, this is the most exciting I've excited I've seen the United fan base be in eighteen months, and we won an <laughs> FA Cup. Three yeah, it's true. Other than the FA Cup fan for so, five minutes, which 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 sums it up. That yeah. sums it up. Yeah. I if mean, we're more excited about who's our next, who's going to be our next manager. Than the woman who was the ad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we for me, sure. this is going to be. Re- it's going to be, obviously this is like like on the Ollie for you. My 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 three all-time favorite players: Beckham, Ronaldo, and Rude. So yeah, I get to see Rude be managed by United for at least four games, probably. Rude's That's going to be really exciting good. for me. Yeah. Rude's not going to be the long-term guy. No, but uh, it, it, I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just ashamed it happened before when I could see I could see him and be there and the same as being be a manager. I just, well, I, I just want to see like classic late winner with Rune Astroy fist thumping the Jeff at the end, but you know, something want, like that. I don't, but I don't want to see us late, late winners. Oh, no, but that's what... You, you, you can see the picture, well. can't you? I want us to actually play well and deserve... I think they will. I think, they'll, I, think they'll, I, I think they'll be a big, a good performance Wednesday night. I just, well, yeah, but that means fuck all, quite frankly. No, I, I, reckon I, they, I think they, I think they, I think they beat Chelsea. I want to see consistency. Yeah. No, I'm and not that's... saying that's what happened under under Rude because, again, I don't know how much, I don't know how much impact he has. Yeah. I imagine there's going to be a little bit of a, a an uplift. We're going to see, yeah, we're going to see people but, come out with now with what he did. At, people now, will, all the journalists now get the information what he did at what he did at PSV well, try and work out. Again, Again, I don't want to say anything until I've seen... Yeah, I want to see what he does with this team. Yeah. If he starts with Rashford on the right wing, <laughs> then he's not, he's, it's not, it's not going to be any better. No. Well, again, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Right now, guys, there's all these reports coming out from you new name and talk sport even saying now Nagelsmann is, is Nagelsmann's open and taking the job. I don't believe any of it yet. It's all... No. In the air. I mean, I'm not saying it's not true, but there's so much noise now. It's like, um, what the hell? Um, we'll have to wait and see what um comes out in the next few days. So, right, guys, we'll leave it there. It's been an hour for us to celebrate in Simon. If you um, guys, if you if you're in the Manchester area, um, don't go out tonight. Um, Unless yeah, because Simon is threatening. Just if 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 well, if Ollie gets confirmed manager, you need to you curtains and windows and hiding in bedrooms because this guy this guy will be running down the street with um no attire um and there's pictures of ten hey. leaving on a plane simon right now so you can hey. you can you can well you can go and watch those tonight with your with your i hope john, De- I hope john denver's the pilot Fuck you know. um so guys if anything comes out in the next few days about who they get it will be anytime soon we'll do i will do a podcast to react to that Thank you for listening. Thank you, Sam, for joining me. Enjoy your evening. I'm sure you will now. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> it'll be it'll be um it'll be doing it'll be thanking his devil pig and god for getting rid of him. Oh, I'm, I'm going I'm going praying to my holy shrine. <laughs> Tell you guys, it, spot don't don't don't, don't, don't sign, but it won't be it won't be it won't be holy. <laughs> I know. Unless he gets Roger, you could get the manager. Stop pissing on me chips. I'll eat, I'll eat up today, and then you can do a cool uh, hash out here tomorrow. Thanks for listening, yes. folks. I'm going to go and look forward to a United game Wednesday night now. Um, hopefully, United win. Um, I think I think that I think they'll win three out of the next four games. The one game uh, they might not win is Chelsea. Like I said, I don't know. I don't want to. But I just want to see. It's nice to have finally beat big problem we had in the club. Well, one of the big problems. Now and well, now we can now move forward with something. SEG as well too. Yeah, that's true. But guys, he's, he's gone. He's done. It's over. Um, it should have been done five months ago, wherever it was, but it's been done now. So I will hopefully have more positive podcasts for you in the future. Now we've got hopefully the start of a new positive direction. Um, again, whoever your manager is, you may have your preferences. We all, we all will, uh, but let's hopefully just hope that the the process is done correctly, not rushed, 
I think we know. I think we've got our favourites. We think it's going to be and who we would like it to be, and who we think it might actually be. But let's see. It, the main thing is the main decision that we all were waiting for, and hopefully the new man comes in and we can get back to, you know, actually, you know, wanting to win games rather than like just survive to the next twenty four hours, um, which is what we were doing for the last three months. Mm-hmm. Thanks, listening, folks. I'll catch you guys all there. Thank you, Sam, for joining me, and. Oh. Um, We'll catch you, get, catch you, get, I'll catch you guys all next time. Thank you for listening and watching on Spotify video. Goodbye. It's Beckham.